been so long so I'm pregnant you guys I'm pregnant with my fifth baby we actually know the gender already I'm sure a lot of you know already because I already shared it so this video is going to be my first trimester recap and just kind of chat with you guys how my pregnancy has been going so if this is all news to you I have some videos up on my YouTube TikTok, Instagram, I think I pretty much announced everywhere now. I did a gender reveal and pregnancy announcement in one. So <laughs> that was super fun. It just like worked out perfectly. It took a while for me to actually announce. I wanted to announce earlier than I did because I'm already 15 weeks now. I'll be 16 weeks actually in a couple days. So it took a while for me to announce because I was waiting on like testing and it just Took a lot longer but i'll talk about that in a second so if you haven't seen our gender reveal pregnancy announcement all of that stuff make sure you pause this video go watch that first because i'm going to talk about the gender in this video so if you don't want it to be spoiled make sure you go watch that first before you watch this one so i'm going to just go ahead and jump right into it so to rewind a little bit me and benny had been talking about having another baby for quite some time when I was pregnant with Jade, who is my fourth daughter, I was pretty sure that it was our last baby, but there was a little part of me that just wasn't sure. So I always said that it might be our last baby because I wanted to leave that door open because in my heart, I just didn't feel done. But my pregnancy with her was kind of challenging, especially towards the end, I had to be put on bed rest. So since her pregnancy was kind of challenging, I was leaning towards, okay, she might be our last baby, but deep down in my heart, I just wasn't feeling like she was my last baby. So after I had Jade, I had my hands very full, as you can imagine, with three kids running around. It can be a lot. So after I had her, I didn't feel the urge to have another baby. I didn't have baby fever for a really long time, but when it came around her first birthday started thinking about it a little bit more and i just really liked the idea of having two kids closer in age because my oldest daughter layla is about to be nine and then aurora is about to be five so they have a pretty i wouldn't say it's a big age gap i feel like that's a pretty good age gap i love their age gap but i've never experienced having two like kids close in age like a baby and a toddler i haven't really experienced that so as soon as she turned like one around her first birthday i was like you know what it might be kind of fun to have two kids closer in age because i've never experienced that and this baby right here is 100 percent our last baby i feel it in my heart that this is our last baby so i was just really toying with the idea of having kids closer in age since I knew this was going to be our last baby. This was like my last shot to have kids closer in age. So I was just really, really thinking about it. It was heavy on my heart, heavy on my mind, but I just knew I wasn't ready to go through a pregnancy yet around her first birthday. So I held off on it. Me and Benny were constantly talking about it and we were just trying to figure out when is the perfect time to start trying for another baby. And ultimately, we realize there is never going to be a 100% perfect time to have another baby, especially when Benny, my husband, is in the military. There's just never going to be the ultimate perfect time to have another baby. So we just realized that we're letting time pass. So we decided to go ahead and try for a baby. And this baby was conceived on our first try, which is so mind-blowing that's why i was so shocked in my video even though we were trying for another baby i understand that's a blessing so i don't want to come off as like bragging about it or anything but yeah so that's how it happened so when i announced my pregnancy to benny he was also like what are you really yeah. how the hell i took those last night <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> oh my goodness. Number four? Number five, technically? Oh, one time? Straight shooters over here, baby. 
Benny wasn't home when I tested. So I tested positive August 27th. So it feels like I've known about this baby forever. And it has been like the longest secret. Kind of hard to keep in. But also I actually really liked keeping it a secret for as long as I did. Because it was really refreshing just knowing that like close friends and family knew about this baby. So it was just really nice having this secret to ourselves for a little bit because I do share so much of our lives. So it was really nice just having this a secret for us and just like personally having close friends and family knowing. So it was just really nice, but it was also like eating me up inside the longer I was going about it. So anyways, I tested positive August 27th and I was supposed to get my period the next day August 28th so I got my positive pregnancy test the day before my expected period and the reason why I tested was literally just because I had zero symptoms absolutely none and I usually do which is the reason why I tested with all of my other girls is because I felt pregnant like I just knew that I was because I was more tired, I had zero energy, um, I was having like headaches, I was a little dizzy. So I always had pregnancy symptoms leading up to me testing. So the reason why I tested was because the day that I got the pregnancy test, the day that I tested, I was doing a Instacart order for the family. So I was doing a Walmart order, so I was doing like groceries and all that. And I just figured you know what, I might as well buy a couple pregnancy tests because the tests at Walmart are like 88 cents or a dollar or something like that. And I've always used those tests with my other girls and I love them. I never had to guess like if there was a line or not. So since I was doing a Instacart order, I just figured, you know what, I might as well buy a couple tests. It's not going to hurt. They're like 88 cents a test. So I ended up buying two tests and yeah, I just figured... What the heck, there's no harm. I'm not gonna spend like a ton of money on these tests, so I might as well just do it. But again, I had zero symptoms, so it was literally just like, I'm doing a Walmart order anyways. Might as well buy a couple tests because we were trying to have a baby. So I took a test, and immediately as the dye was running through the test, a positive line was glaring at me. It happened so fast that I had to stop my timer because I didn't even need to wait like, a full minute it just popped up instantly and I was like what like I said I had zero symptoms so I didn't catch my initial reaction of seeing the first test the video that I posted of my reaction was my second test which was a couple hours after I got the first um, positive test it's been a couple hours already I took one of these Like, that's kind of a breakdown of how I got my positive test, why I tested, all of that stuff. So leading up to me telling Benny, I was like super nervous, but I was also extremely excited because I knew he really wanted a baby. I really wanted a baby. So I ended up surprising him the next day after I got my positive. So when he walked through the door, I just had like a little basket set up on the table. Inside the basket, I put one of Jade's old newborn beanies. I put one of her like, um extra binkies that I had on hand and then I put the positive pregnancy test so I literally just set it up on the table I didn't say anything to him at all I had the camera set up in the corner and then you can't really hear him on the video but when he goes and gives me the hug he says something like oh are you filming something and I just told him that I was filming videos so he didn't really think anything of it so he gave me a hug and then that's when he noticed a little basket on the table okay Sit with me. You want to sit right here? Yay! Hey. Would you like me to open that? Happy. Okay. Can you say hi? Hi, family. Open it. <laughs> Katie is so big now, you guys. So big. She talks all the time. She's going to join us for the rest of this video. She has been attached to my hip, so I don't know if she can sense baby, but this girl, I like to call her my little shadow because every time I turn around, she's right there. Isn't that right, Jade? You follow mommy around? Yeah? I love you. Hands? Hands? I love you. So much. Forever. And ever. 
infinity and beyond anyways let's talk about my first ultrasound so i had my first ultrasound on september 29th so basically a whole month after i found out that i was pregnant is that baby <laughs> give me your cheese can i see that real quick though i'll trade you you can look at this one can mommy look at this one so i was estimated to be about eight weeks and six days at this ultrasound and baby was moving around baby looked really good this was super exciting unfortunately benny didn't get to go in with me because we didn't have a sitter for the girls so he was in the car with the girls when i had this ultrasound done but i was able to record it for them So baby looked super good. I was super ecstatic. The due date that I have is May 5th. I do have another ultrasound to show you guys. And that ultrasound also lines up with May 5th. So Cinco de Mayo baby. I don't know if I'm actually going to give birth on that day though. Because typically all of my children have come early. The earliest I think I've had was a week. But that was Evie. I had to have her earlier due to medical reasons. But I've never gone past my due date. So we will see. But in my gut, I'm feeling like I'm going to have an April baby. But I don't know. A May 5th single to mile baby would be really cool. So we'll see. So that was my first ultrasound. My second ultrasound was October 12th. So here is baby. So those are the two ultrasounds that I've had. I've also done my genetic testing and my glucose testing. So I did my glucose testing at 11 weeks and 4 days. I know that is extremely early, but this pregnancy is also considered high risk. There's no concern for this baby at all. This baby looks great. I've had all of the genetic testing and every single testing that I've had has come back normal so far. But the reason that this pregnancy is still considered high risk is because of everything that happened with Everly. She had trisomy 13 and polyposin cephaly. So since she had those, every pregnancy after her is just automatically going to get flagged as high risk. And when I did my glucose testing at 11 weeks, 4 days, that's when I was supposed to have my genetic testing done. But there is an issue with our insurance. We have TRICARE and if you have a spouse in the military you're familiar with tricare they're not the best when it comes to getting things done in a timely manner i will just say that if you watched my pregnancy journey with everly you are fully aware of all the issues that i've had with tricare so i was like super bummed because i was so ready to announce this baby i was hoping to announce the baby around like 12 weeks because like i said i was supposed to have my genetic testing done when i did my glucose testing at 11 weeks but since there was an issue okay i wasn't able to get it done so i didn't get my genetic testing done until a couple weeks after that so that's the reason why i announced my pregnancy at like 14 weeks just because the genetic testing got pushed back and I just figured we waited this long. I might as well keep waiting. So our genetic testing results for this baby, everything came back as low risk. And drum roll, please. Can you give us a drum roll, Jake? Say, go like this, a drum roll. Say, and the baby is... Say. Can you say it? You gotta say it louder. So we are having a baby boy! I absolutely cannot believe it. I'm still in shock. I think I'm going to stay in shock until he's in my arms. But I just cannot believe it. After having four girls, I'm having a boy. I feel like Benny is definitely more on terms with it now. In the beginning, he was like, no way. We're not having a boy. This is another girl. I told him from the beginning of my pregnancy, I think this is our boy because of how different I felt. All of my symptoms were a complete 180 from all of the symptoms that I had with the girls. I was in bed like 24 seven 
as much as I could at least because Benny works really long hours so he leaves when it's dark out basically comes home when it's dark out so it's just me and the girls like all day every day almost so I was really really struggling because obviously I had to take care of the kids had to feed them had to you know play with them but I was really struggling being pregnant and having a toddler and other kids no joke at all it is the hardest thing especially when you are exhausted the exhaustion i felt this pregnancy was absolutely like no other i was trying to fight taking naps because i wanted to spend time with the girls obviously but i just could not keep my eyes open i was like nodding out so my exhaustion was just like up here it was so bad i also was dealing with nausea very bad the worst nausea that i've had in all of my other pregnancies i didn't ever throw up thankfully i don't know if anybody else has this fear but i have a fear of throwing up benny is always telling me like if you force yourself to throw up you're probably going to feel so much better but just the thought of that freaks me out and i can't do that so i was nauseous 20 Four, seven. I was constantly sucking on um, what are they called the butterscotch candies sucking on those really helped me um, chewing gum sucking on mints so just like constantly having like a sweet flavor in my mouth was really helpful or like something minty was really helpful another thing that I struggled with was no appetite absolutely no appetite and food aversions to basically everything so i was really struggling to huh? eat in my first trimester i basically had to force myself to eat because i did not want to eat anything and then it was just like this constant nausea cycle that i couldn't get out of because if i didn't stay on top of eating then i was nauseous but also like everything was making me nauseous that i was eating so it was just this constant battle of nausea it was absolutely terrible so I basically had to force myself to eat certain things. I was eating small things like crackers, um, bagels, anything that didn't have like a strong sense of taste or smell was what I ate because when I did eat things like that, such as like garlic and stuff, absolutely no go because that lingering taste in my mouth just the thought of it i cannot even do it another thing was the round ligament pain almost started instantly which was definitely a shock to me at first i was a little concerned because i wasn't sure what is it i've had round ligament pain in my other pregnancies but i definitely have not had it this early on i had it like very early on in my first trimester so that was definitely shocking so i was a little concerned but my ob reassured me and she said yep it's your fifth pregnancy your body's just going through a lot. Your body's been through a lot. So the aches and pains are definitely going to come more frequently, more often. So I ended up buying a pregnancy pillow, which I didn't use in any of my other pregnancies either. But it has been a lifesaver. So yeah, that's how my first trimester has been. I was definitely in survival mode, which is why I didn't like film any content. I was like going MIA on Instagram. I would like pop up, say hey, and then pop out for like a couple days. It's because I was literally on survival mode in my first trimester so i'm super glad that it is now past like i said i will be 16 weeks in a couple days so i'm now in my second trimester and i'm feeling so so much better i have energy now which is why i got all ready finally i'm feeling great i feel like i'm just glowing because my skin is not breaking out anymore my hair has been good my nails have been good. I actually need to paint them. I've been trying to do them myself. But I just feel really good right now. Knock on wood. I don't want to jinx myself. But I'm feeling really good. I have an appointment coming up in a couple weeks. So I will share how that goes. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was amazing chatting with you guys. I can't believe I'm having our fifth and final child a baby boy. And... Hopefully, I'll see you guys really soon because I do plan on getting back into vlogging. So, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all of your sweet comments. I love you, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!